What's good, Chaotic Nation? It is your boy Chaos here, and we are back with some more tips and tricks for Draft League in Pokemon. So, yeah, it's been a series we've been doing for a while now. I'm glad to continue doing it with some more enhanced videos for you guys to keep improving your skills in Draft League. So, I'm hoping that this video and that this series is helpful for that. But today, we're going to be talking about Pokemon calculations, or as we like to call them in the biz, calcs. You know, calcs are your best friend. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to show you how to get there. We're going to do all that fun stuff, and then we're going to talk about how they work. So, uh, open your search engine. I'm using Chrome right now, so that's what it looks like this. But uh, if you type in Showdown, on, as you guys can see on my pop-up, it pops up with Showdown because I've done it a lot. You type in Showdown, right? It pulls up a link to all these fun things. You type on the first one, Pokemon Showdown Battle Simulator. It opens the this page here. You can see all the fun stuff here. You've got Play Online. That's how you play the game, just so you guys know. Like, if ever was a thing um, but you have usage stats for like if you want to check out the tiers you have some other things down here but the thing we're gonna be talking about today is this damage calculator so if you open this main page you click on this damage calculator it brings up this fun little sheet here and as you can see in the sheet as you can see in the sheet it gives you your Pokemon your opponent's Pokemon It's a little far away I'm gonna try to zoom in just a hair just so you guys can see it better all right there you go so it gives you your Pokemon, your opponent's Pokemon, um, different terrains and things that are going on. And you also can import, export, like different things for your po Like if you have a, a set you want to bring in, you just copy paste it from your save on the team and put it in here. But really, this is what the, your best friend's going to be in this anytime you play this. So um, it gives you your moves, it gives you the percentages of how much they're going to do. So, like if I use Blizzard, if an Obama Snow uses a Blizzard on Obama Snow, it's going to do 39 to 46%. So very good to calc. It gives you your whole side. You can choose any Pokemon on here. They have different sets. You can make your own set. You can customize it. You can give um, different IVs or EV totals. Um, you can even change the base stats if you have a move that has changed base stats or something like that. Or if your opponent has dropped one of your base stats. Uh, it has this fun calculator right here. This is your best friend um, in this. He has these five drop down tabs on the side. And they're beside attack, defense, special attack, defense, special defense, and speed. You can change it to make you different and have different like abilities. So let's say I use um, I use nasty plot and it gives me plus two. I can go back up here now and you can see that Blizzard is now 78.5 to 92.5 percent to kill this Obama snow. So it's fun to calc things that way as well. You also change the item, change ability, change nature, all that fun stuff here. Choose your move. Um, choose if it's Z or not like you can do Z Blizzard and it's 65 to 75 like it does all that stuff the field settings are very important so like if there's no weather on the field you can do none um, it's you got terrains up here so I mean it's electric terrain grassy terrain misty terrain um, you can choose singles or doubles depending on what you want to play usually singles is the way we go um, but you can choose a terrain you can choose weather you can choose harsh weather strong winds like if you have uh, Kyo primal Kyogre primal Groudon or Mega Rayquaza you can add Stealth Rocks to the field, you can uh, add the Leech Seed Recovery, you can add Aurora Veil, you can add Omni Boost, which is nice. Um, you can do a Battery, you can do Friend Guard, you can do Tailwind, all these fun stuff are here um, for you to use and click on. You can set layers of Spikes, all this stuff. So like if I hit Stealth Rocks on this side, um, it would calc Stealth Rocks for the opposing team. So like if you have, stealth, you have this up on your side, it calcs it against the other team. So like if I did three layers of Spikes, um, that's on your side so like they would be hitting me for 46 percent give or take um, it tells you and also tells you this fun stat here um, two percent is a two ko after stealth rocks and three layers of spikes so you have to include the damage there but it just depends on how you run the different things so uh, something I want to count let's just bring up something that's going to be useful everywhere let's do infernape uh, we'll run a mixed set, and we'll do a, uh, and we'll do Mega Gyarados. No, let's spell Gyarados. So these are two typical sets you're gonna see. So as you can see right now, uh, mixed attack Infernape sitting at 168 attack IVs. Um, with a close combat, it's gonna destroy er destroy Mega Gyarados, but Earthquake's also gonna destroy this. This is where you look at speed tiers. Um, you can calculate different speeds here. So let's say you're you're the Gyarados and you're trying to see if there's any possible way that you're going to outspeed this thing. You give it zero IVs, 277. You can outspeed it if you are Jolly Nature 
and if they have no IVs. So it's really it's really useful for things like that to calc different different abilities and different uh, moves like that. Uh, life orb, something else maybe he doesn't kill with a life orb. Maybe if he has something like uh, fire and MZ. Maybe if he has fire MZ or fighting MZ. Let's get that since it's closer. It's fightinium Z as a move. Um, close combat has a chance, a 25% chance to Oko at this point. So you might stay in and tank it. If you have more of a defensive set, like if you get like 252 EVs in defense, you're probably going to live it, even if it is a Z move. So, um, and then Earthquake can win. So you just got to look, it helps out to count different things. This is going to be your best friend anytime you play Draft League, um, any kind of match you're going in to, uh, especially if you know your opponent's team. Um, most of the time, after you've been around the competitive scene a while, you know similar sets and what things are going to be running, whether things are going to be like more offensive, more specially attacking, whether what defensive stat they're going to be probably boosting, um, things like that. So you can play around the team with that and just general ideas. But sometimes in draft league, things get crazy. So I've had some crazy sets um, happen. Let's see if my Jirachi set is still here. Um, no, my Jirachi set's not here. So I've had some crazy sets with like Jirachi, um, and like I've used like the sub, the subset here. I've made it, I've done a, a reverse speed nature where it's minus speed, like special defense or something like that with Trick Room on it. So <laughs> I've done that before and done some damage. So you can check out different things here. So like Crunch. So at this point, like if you're battling Jirachi versus Gyarados at this point, you might Dragon Dance up to get yourself to plus one attack. And plus one speed. Now look at you. You took you took forty six percent damage. Took forty one percent damage to get yourself to Oko. Pretty much everything that's going to come in. So, um, very very good to check calcs just to make sure you live attacks. Also, you can mess with the HP stats. So, um, maybe your Gyarados is at sitting at fifty percent. Took some damage and it's sitting at about fifty percent. Um, you can see that Jirachi's Thunderbolt is not going to kill you. The best it can do is 40%. It's 41%, which puts you at 9. So you're sitting at 9%, but you have a plus 1 speed and plus 1 attack, and you can do some damage. So um, this is really useful when in the situations in battle. Something I always have open when I'm doing my Showdown League. Uh, I always have this open during the match. I know some draft leagues do not allow you to calc in the middle of battles um, that's usually been just for let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee since they have a 20 minute battle timer but in showdown or in other leagues the timer is usually about an hour uh, per match um, showdown actually doesn't have a timer unless you set it which uh, one of my rules in my draft league is that you cannot set battle timers so um, this match can be as long as it needs to be but I do say hey make sure you're doing it with like some quickness to it because if you're just stalling someone out like sitting there for oh I'm gonna just step away for a day and come back and battle no you have to like do it at that moment so but this calc is really fun it's a really good place to build a team you guys will notice that I built a lot of my teams here um, when I go through my analysis of what my team does and what my team doesn't do I have spent probably about two or three hours in this in this uh, in this calculator calcing different things that could happen like um, so for instance if it's my team of 12 versus like someone else's team of 12 I will take each of my 12 Pokemon come up with a set for them or something similar that I think would work and plug them in versus their the opponent's team and see how they do and then I will write down like what they what they use to uh, defeat things so I don't have to remember it it's nice to like do this right before you do a match because you have the calcs fresh in your mind you can be like okay that would that actually that Thunderbolt would actually do 35%, so this Gyarados that has very little health is going to die. So, you can do things like that. And it's really helpful to build strategies, to make sure you can take hits and do stuff like that. It's won me a few matches in my day, uh, especially if you watch the PDL Season 3 semifinals. It won me that match very, very cheekily with a Hitmonchan, so... And I mean, you can change literally everything. You can give statuses, you can change items, change abilities, change natures, you can add different field effects, all that fun stuff. And 
it's a really good tool to have um, if you ever try any kind of competitive battling, not just draft league, but any competitive battling whatsoever. This is going to be your best friend to help you build tool, build teams around. So if you think of something like, oh, this thing is always killing me. What can I do to fix it with my squad? Or maybe I need to find something that can actually do something to it. Pokemon damage calculator is going to be good. Um, of course, you have to have some knowledge of what is going to be good against a certain Pokemon and what's going to be bad against certain Pokemon. So you're not going to probably bring a Jirachi on a Mega Gyarados. I hope you wouldn't. Unless you're like Choice Scarfed. <laughs> That's still a little risque. I mean, maybe if this is a Choice Scarf set at this point, like if I throw Choice Scarf on it. If I throw Choice Scarf on this thing, Jirachi outspe can outspeed if it's not set up. So, and the thing up here, when you change the stats, it shows you what's faster. So, when Gyarados is plus one, even with Scarf at 242, it's gonna be faster. Gyarados is going to be faster. Because it gives you your speed stat total down here. See? Right beside it. That's why this number's here. That's After Effects. To get your speed. Because the other the other numbers, they don't really matter once you boost them. But the speed is very important so you can run speed differences. So, as you can see, like, Gyarados at regular is 287. A Choice Scarf Jirachi hits 363. But if I Dragon Danced up, I'm at 430. And that outspeeds. So, in this calc, or this line right here that tells you how effective the move is going to be, always calcs the fastest thing first unless you change it. So, it's always going to calc the best move and the fastest. So, it's, if you just want a quick move, like what's the best move? You just give your opponent like zero speed, and that is going to show you which move to use. So, it's, it's that's a tool too if you want to learn how to battle a little bit better, um, learn type matchups and different things for different Pokemon. So. It always gives you the highest output, as you can see here. 110, 130, highest output Gyarados can do. It's also faster. But if Jirachi's faster, Thunderbolt's going to be the thing that pops up. Obviously, because none of the other moves do anything. So, But this tool is really here, really useful. Really here for your benefits to help you build better teams, to make good decisions in battle, and to figure out how to play against your opponent. Um, with calcs and stuff. It's a great thing for team building so definitely I would recommend using this fun tool here for team building and again all you got to do it's on the regular Pokemon Showdown page you type in Showdown you go to the first thing which is Pokemon Showdown Battle Simulator you click on it and you find the damage calc button click on that and it pops up with this fun tool that is very useful and very effective no matter what situation you're going into. So. I definitely recommend this to you, no matter what kind of competitiveness you play, this calc is useful across platforms. Um, if you're playing a Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, uh, you can run it there. If you're playing in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, if you're playing in Sword and Shield, like this is going to be useful to help you out with damage calcs. And it's a really great tool for those of you who are trying to get into competitive to learn about how different Pokemon are going to be doing it, doing different things. So like, let's, you want to check a battle with like Suicune and um, maybe Tapu Koko, I don't know. You want to check a, a thing, you can just pull that up. Suicune and Tapu Bulu. Yeah, Suicune's going to be faster, but Horn Woodhammer and Horn Leech going to Oko. Unless you happen to burn the thing with Skull, then you can check that out too and still Woodhammer's Okoing, but Horn Leech would not. So, you can always check that these calcs out, try different things, put different things in depending on what you need and find your niche of your Pokemon to make them useful for different situations and it's really a wonderful tool it's helped me win my last three seasons of draft league so I cannot say anything but praise for this calculator I really enjoy it I use it all the time you get my endorsement but definitely should try it out if you are interested in draft league at all or if you're even competing in a draft league right now definitely use this to calc during matches if your league allows it if it doesn't allow it then you obviously can't do it but definitely do your calcs before you before you do the match and during the match it helps out so much in outcomes of the game and different things like that so i'm gonna wrap it up here thank you guys very much for watching this video of tips and tricks for draft league we talked about our calculations or calcs as we'd like to call them here and uh it's just this this calculator is just amazing i i would i love using this thing so Definitely recommend it to you. Use it. It is here. 
PokemonShowdown.com slash Damage Cow. It's there. Make sure you check it out. But I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you again for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button down below if you are enjoying this video and enjoying the series. And you want to see more content from me, definitely hit that subscribe button. And it's very important that you hit that notification bell if you are subscribed so you never miss a premiere, any of my content, or any of my live streams at all. And if you guys are watching this on the day it comes out, we are going to be doing a podcast on Visible Corporations. There is a link in the description, or there's also a link on the side of the screen here if you're on my main channel. Like, there's a link on the side you can click on my recommended channels. You'll see Invisible Corporations. Click on it. We'll be there in about, I don't know, 45 minutes, give or take. So we'll be over there at the next hour mark. So make sure you go check that out and support us over there with the subscription as well. And so we'll see you over there. Um, I'll see you next time for some more content from me. And check out all the links in the description down below, including Discord, Twitter, Twitch, um, my draft league. You can come check that out too. <laughs> but I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you again for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. And until next time, my name is Chaos. And I am signing off. Stay safe. And as always, burn it up.